To round off the new princess bundle, uh, we have the cake, we have a card, and we thought it'd be a great idea to create another, um, well, a smaller centerpiece to put on the table. And we have a crown that doubles as a little lollipop holder. I guess you could try to do it with cake pops, but either way, um, well, not just lollipops, but uh, lollipops that are kind of, um, well, covered or surrounded by a floral element. So let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, the crown's very simple to put together. Let's take a look at the actual flower element. So I have a, a Tootsie Pop lollipop here, and I took the wrapper off. You can either leave it on or off, whatever you wanna do as far as sanitation goes. Um, and then technically you could, if you want, um, omit the tinfoil part of this, but for the sake of keeping things color coordinated and balanced, we took the wrapper off and what we're doing, and you can actually put the foil over the wrapper if you want, um, covering the lollipop with a little bit of tin foil or aluminum foil. Okay. Now, each of these little crowns is gonna hold four flowers. Well, you could probably fit more than that if you really kind of sandwich them in there, but uh, we're doing it with four. And then I'm literally just kind of trimming off any excess here just to kind of keep it nice and nice and tight, and nice and wrapped, okay? And then we're going to put the little floral elements together here. And starting off with the little stamens in the center, there are two styles. So now keep in mind here, for each lollipop that you do, you're gonna need one of these with the pointy tip, one of these with the round tip, two of these flowers, or flower sections, and a calyx. Okay, so for each lollipop that you do, you're gonna need everything you see here, okay? All right, so, let me get my dowel. Where did it go? I probably put it away. I did, okay. So we're gonna take, and we're actually gonna start with the round one first. And I'm just gonna take and train these just to kind of curl them, give them a little bit of interest, like so. Like that. And there are a series of little score marks in there too. So you can score these, just kind of fold them. You could do it before or after. And to make this all one solid piece, we're gonna put glue on this entire section here, all the way up to the little tip and just pop that underneath its neighbor so that they're sitting right on top of each other, nice and flush. Okay, you can see the little shape that we've created by doing so, just like that. And you can see how it's going to kind of hug the lollipop once all said and done. Okay, so literally just take that, slide it up, and you can glue this down if you want. I wouldn't put glue on that first layer because then you're risking getting glue on the actual lollipop. So I would just put glue here and that should hold it, okay? Now while that is setting, we'll take this piece here, fold it at the score marks, okay? And just like we did the first time, uh, we need to curl this in. Actually, I want the texture side to be on the outside. So I'm gonna curl it this way. There we go. And we'll just apply a little bit of glue to this entire section here, right up to the very tip. Make sure you get some on the tip there so that it doesn't come pulling off, tuck it behind the neighboring piece, just layer it right on top of the next section over, and just press that together. Okay, give that a second to set. There we go. We may need to pull these out just a tiny bit 
in order for this to properly go on. Okay, and we can reapply a little bit more glue here. And we'll literally just take this, slide it through. And you want to offset it so that these two sections are not right on top of each other. Give us the maximum, uh, well, maximum depth and dimension there. Okay, so there we have that. Next, we're gonna start with our little petals here. So you wanna begin by folding. And then, we actually curl these outward. So I'm gonna grab a thicker dowel and just grab the petal between my finger and the dowel and just pull it back. Just like that. And we're gonna do that with both layers of, of petals. And uh, both sections of the flower. These are identical. It's the same exact piece. And we'll just throw a little bit of glue right on this little tab here, just like that, and tuck it behind its neighbor. You can actually just kind of fold it over so you can really squeeze it. Help that set a lot faster. And there you have it. And I did ink this, obviously, with a little bit of pink. And Throw a nice glob of glue right on the bottom of that. And we'll slide this right through the little hole there in the bottom. There we go. Okay, so you see how nice that's starting to look. And it's pretty nice with the silver in there. Uh, but again, if you just leave it as the original wrapper, that's fine too, whatever you wanna do. And I'm just gonna pop that in here so it doesn't fall over. Move on to the next section of our flower. Okay, <clears throat> and again, taking and curling the petals back. Just like that. And we'll apply our glue to that little tab there, tuck it behind its neighbor, right up to that crease. And then you can literally just do this flat, just give it a squeeze, help that set. That's fine, I had a little bit of glue shoot out of there, but that's okay. And we'll put a little bit of glue on the bottom of that and just pop it right through. go and you want to offset this petal so that they're not right on top of each other you want to offset it just a tiny bit bring that down okay and at this point you can kind of pull on these a little bit bring them down to create a little more separation between the two layers of petals make sure that they are in fact offset nicely there we go okay I'm gonna pop that back in here for a minute and finally we have our little calyx here. Just want to go ahead and fold at the score marks. Okay. And we're going to, these are going to go downward. So we'll just kind of train them down. I've got a nice thin dowel here. Let's train those down. And just like we did with the first two layers, throw a little bit of glue on this entire piece here and bring it over, lay it right on top of its neighbor, and glue those two sections together completely, just like that. And I'll just throw a little bit of glue right around the base. Oops. And just slide that calyx right through all the way up to create this beautiful little flower. Now, if you want, totally optional, but I'm gonna do it. I have some very light green floral tape and I am going to wrap the rest of the stem with this floral tape because it matches the mint AC cardstock perfectly. It'll make it all look a little more seamless. Just wrap it up all the way up to the calyx, and this will actually kind of 
help keep that calyx in place too. There we go. And bring that down. And there you have your flower. It looks like this might have moved a little bit, and that's okay. And again, create some separation there. But that is one little lollipop. Didn't take too long. And you can see here, I've got my four other ones um, that are going to go in here once all said and done. So, so that's that. And now, you can see here in front of me, we've got a two-tiered little piece of styrofoam that is going to go inside of our little crown to give us a place to actually stick the lollipops in. Okay, we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's take a look at the actual crown itself. Now, as you can see here, I've already put a few of the panels on since it's kind of a redundant process. There's six sections and six panels, and we simply want to glue these on. So grab your glue, and make sure you get a little bit right out to the very tip of this little piece here. Don't put too much glue up at the top there at that tip because it's gonna squirt out. We don't want that. And you'll notice that there are some markers here to help you place this accurately each time. So go ahead and put your panels on. Okay, so I'm gonna do this with you twice. You are gonna do it a total of six times since there are six panels. I don't wanna to have to do this six times and bore you. You could just pause me and come back. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, and the last one, line that up with the little marker, line it up on the other side with the little marker, bring it up, glue that down. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to connect these two sections together using this long tab here. So go ahead and apply your glue to this tab all the way up to the tip. Throw a little line right up to the edge, and then I'm going to take this and just kind of spread that glue out right up to the very, very edge. And I'm going to just literally connect these two sections together, try to get it aligned as accurately as possible. Pardon my head there for a second. Okay, once it has its initial grip, we can take this and fold it over onto itself right on that seam and give it a little nudge if necessary. Okay. And we'll close it up now by taking our glue and applying it to this tab here. Okay, there we go. And now we can take this, bring it over. It's a Symmetrical piece, so we should be able to do this flat for the most part. Just connect those two sections together now. Give that a second. And fold it over onto that seam. Give that a press. Okay. And you can see our crown coming together. Now this part is going to be a little tricky. You don't want to put too much pressure down because you're going to risk um, crushing the tips of these. So you got to be pretty gentle here but we can do that. And just have to put glue on these tabs here. It's kind of like constructing a box. It's just that the walls are not solid all the way around. So many of you have done this time and time again. Nice thin line right out to the very edge. Like that. That. And I'm just going to take my finger, spread that glue right out to the very, very edge of each of these tabs. Way too much glue there. Just like that. A little dab there. Okay. Now we're going to take this side, the side that's anchored. We're going to focus on uh, gluing and aligning the side opposite of the side that's anchored first. And by doing so, everything else should just kind of fall into place. Now, I am 
giving this a little bit of a downward force, but not too much because again, you don't want to crush the tops and tips of the crown. So be careful. Okay, kind of run your fingers along the perimeters there, and then you can push down from the inside to help the rest of those tabs take shape. There we go. And I'm gonna take a look at the bottom here, make sure everything's making good contact and everything is nice and clean. That looks good, perfect. Okay, now we have this little piece here this is our liner, and we're gonna take and just put a little bit of glue around the perimeter, a little bit on the inside, pop the liner in here. This is going to make our, make our crown more stable. Okay, perfect. All right, so in addition to that, we do have this little band that's gonna go around our crown and it's only gonna go on one way. You can see when I put that down, it kind of curves up. Just need to flip it around like so. Okay, let's start by gluing the center part of this in place, and then we'll work the two edges, the two other sides, I should say. So just pop that right along the bottom. Make sure it's nice and flush with the bottom. And the two sections here that have the score marks, they should fit perfectly right over where the edges are here. Okay, so that looks good. And I can hold that down with one hand while we pull this out and get glue on the remaining section here. Get that glue out to the very, very edge here, like that. And then just bring it over, just like that. Make sure it's nice and flush with the bottom. And then while I'm holding that, and flip this out and get my glue on this next section. Right out to the edge. And just fold that over again, making sure it's nice and flush with the bottom. Just like that. Okay, so halfway done there. And again, grab this one, make sure we're getting it on the right way. Perfect. And I'll throw some glue on the center part. Pop that right into place, making sure it's flush with the bottom. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna fold this over and apply our glue to this section. Again, making sure we get some out all the way to the edge. Fold it over, it should meet up exactly with this seam here, and it does. Beautiful. And we'll fold this back, apply our glue. It's a cool little centerpiece, even without the, uh, without the lollipop. So I could see these just being on the table. If you don't want to spend the time um, adding the lollipops in there, you could certainly put maybe a cupcake in here or a candle, uh, anything you want to do to make that table special. Okay, so there is the actual crown. Now, uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pop this in here. You can see I've got it perfectly sized. I would hot glue that, uh, and I'm going to. So let me, let me get my hot glue gun out. We'll hot glue that, and I'll show you where the rest of the stuff goes here. Okay, so I've got my, got my foam hot glued in there. We're gonna add some, some paper uh, crinkle fill in here, kind of smush it down so it's not too rambunctious. And I can always just kind of trim off any of the, any of the loose ones I have in there. The ones that are kind of poking out. That's what I usually do when we have, uh, we do any sort of floral arrangement. I'll use my crinkle fill and then sometimes it's just kind of a pain to sit there and try to mess with every single strand. So I'll just trim them off. Okay, you can kind of tuck them in there depending on how accurately and precisely you cut your foam. 
you may be able to just kind of tuck it into the sides. So it's almost like creating like a little nest. Let me cut this off here. That's a little rambunctious too. Okay, so there you have that. And then we're gonna take and, um, well, the first, the main flower is gonna go right on the top there. Okay, and that one's gonna be a little bit elevated. You'll notice how I, I kind of created a little two-tier thing there with the flower, or with the uh, foam, I should say. A um, couple additional little things that we're going to add to our final. Uh, well, actually, let me take a step back here real quick. We do have three little pendants. I've already put two of them together. You're going to make three of these. Okay. Let me glue this one in. So it's simply this oval that goes onto this little white scalloped piece. And we're going to place these on every other section of the crown. Okay, so we can actually foam square these. Let me grab my foam squares. Grab a foam square here. I'm gonna do two. Keep them kind of towards the center. Okay, and a little pendant. It's gonna go right here, right in the center. Make sure you get it nice and aligned. I'm also gonna add some rhinestones and maybe even some liquid pearls to this to really jazz it up because it is a crown and crowns are always blinged out. Okay, so we've got a pendant there. We're gonna skip one side, go to the next side, and we'll throw a pendant on there and then so on and so forth. Um, that's pretty much it as far as the paper elements go for the crown. Now, we have also included, and it's up to you, again, if you decide that you're gonna use this for a centerpiece of a candle, or if you're gonna go the lollipop route like we are, um, we've created little name tags that you can tie to the little lollipop flowers. Okay, so our pendants are in place. You can see how nice that looks. This one's, I didn't center that one very well. And I also didn't push it down all the way because sometimes it's a little hard to see what I'm doing without kind of moving things around on camera. So I will fix that. But again, we do have um, some little name tags that you can tie to the flowers here. So it's simple, very simple. Just two pieces. This piece here, I'm gonna throw a little bit of glue on it. And you can see there's a little notch cut out of it right up at the top. Just kind of align that with the little hole that we're gonna use to actually tie this to the lollipop. Okay. And aside from that, um, you know, you're gonna have one in the center and then just kind of pop them in there. There's one there. We're gonna put one in the front. And then technically, we're only doing four, but you can absolutely probably fit at least two more into this crown. So I don't know what the typical, typical amount of kids at a party, I'm not really sure what that number is. I guess it all depends. Um, but you can kind of see how that is gonna shape up, or shape, shape up, yeah, shape up. Uh, oh, and also, one other thing too, uh, you're gonna wanna take a look at the uh, final photos, and you'll see that not only do we have little name tags hanging off of the flowers, um, but I'm gonna, I've got some ribbon, really thin ribbon, and I'm gonna put uh, just some bows around the bottoms of each of the flowers too just to kind of make them a little even more special. I mean, this is pretty special as it is, but um, why not, you know, add a little bit more, um, a little more pretty to an already very pretty project. But there you have it. There is your little crown lollipop centerpiece. And, uh, and that's it. So again, like I said, take a look at the final photo. You can see where uh, I'm gonna add some bling um, 
and that's pretty much it. It's a very simple little project, uh, and again, it all depends on how many lollipops you're going to make. That's really what's going to create the work, and if you don't make the lollipops and you just make the crowns, it's going to be a breeze because this thing goes together really quickly. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the process. If you did, head on over to our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit the or press the little uh, bell. It's a little notification bell so that anytime we do release a new product, whether it be a freebie um, or a paid product or an educational video, you'll get a notification. And uh, if you make this or anything from our new bundle, we'd love to see it. So head on over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, where you can join myself and the 20,000 plus dreamers that inspire us daily. So farewell to all the princesses out there, and I look forward to crafting with you again.